back to work for Jose Madres. <laughs> he used to wear shoes, I can tell you that. He wore shoes when I worked for him, I know that. Uh, what is it like to work? I'll tell you what it's like to be st standing next to one of your mentors and, and, and I mean, still making me nervous right now. Um, uh, what, uh, Jose, Jose, I, my biggest memory of Jose was when uh, I was working with him. He's got a restaurant at the time that was only in six seats. Did 12 people a night called the mini bar. And he was training me to go to LA to open up a restaurant which was going to be called the Bazaar. And he showed me one of the dishes in the mini bar and he said, you're going to do this at the Bazaar for... And I'm like, great. I'm like, Jose, but that restaurant has over 200 seats. And he said to me, don't worry, it's okay, it's the same job, I'll just build you a bigger kitchen and give you more cooks. And to me, that moment, I realized I was working for a guy who was not afraid of anything. I mean, he'll take risks. His ideas are bigger than, than, than that. And he wanted to make it. He had made it for six people a night. He's, 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 he's in the hospitality industry. And when he says that, I believe him. He wants to share it with everybody. And so we went and made that one dish 600 times a night. And we hollowed out pieces of bread with a Dremel tool, one by one by one. Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> the Philly cheesesteak from Jose Andres. Okay. So, can I tell you what it was to work with this man? Uh, even if it doesn't look, you know, I'm only a little bit older than him. <laughs> But uh, what I can tell you is that, <laughs> well, I'm expecting somebody to offer me a pedicure. <laughs> and happen. But what I can tell you is that I always say that we are only as good as the people we have around us. And for me, coming to LA was like a big thing. Because, you know, I was a Washington, D.C. boy. I love Virginia, I love Maryland. From California, <laughs> looks so far away. But um, I was very lucky that we found a guy like him. He was the opening chef. We got only four stars out of four at the LA Times. <laughs> so I guess he did something right. <laughs> he was humble enough because, you know, I was bringing my team from the sea. But it was not the team from the sea and the team from LA. It was the team, the boys and girls. Um, that made the place possible. Still today, many of the people that were there were cooks or sous chefs that my boy here had under him. And I can tell you that maybe they were there because of me, but then I can tell you also they still are there because of him. So I'm very proud of this man, and I'm even prouder that even after he left, and today, I don't know you, but at least in my business, in the old days, I always tell everybody I'm everything I am because for Ron Adria, uh, and I owe him a lot of gratitude, even I've been 27 years away from him already. But um, one day he made me very proud, was not only saying, I'm leaving to the top chef, and I told him, fuck you, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a very sincere fuck you. Right? We had a great conversation. Uh, he left me a great kitchen behind, very good, oh, amazing team that kept moving forward. And it didn't happen because me, it happened because he left a great team. And then when he went on his own and won and beat, and beat his brother. Yeah. I can't believe he did that because his brother is even nicer than him. <laughs> uh, he opened this amazing restaurant that if you had not been in LA, nothing would make me prouder than you go to his restaurant. Um, ink. <laughs> and then he opened the sandwich place. And this only made me cry when I went one day. And he had a sandwich next to my name. So um, I love him for that. Spanish Godfather, and aka the Jose Andres. <laughs> no, nobody could have a better TV show sharing with America what's happening around the world than this man. He has a good heart. He's an amazing chef, extraordinary person. His brother. So I told you it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> so you are in front of uh, not just a guy with tattoos that looks cool with a hat looking back like Roy. Uh, behind all of that look is a very amazing heart.
and this is why I come. <laughs> and because this is called by, let me give you the sixth course of the festival for sundress biting on these green leaves of hell that I am the only one eating today.